This could be a very, very good moment to practice uh, meditation of refuting the sense of self, because at this moment, <laughs> it's really right there, <laughs> right here. <laughs> but uh, what I would like to share is uh, this, uh, one of the things that I love the most, most in this uh, uh, program and in this place, is the uh, duty to go to ring the, the gong early in the morning before the sun rises. Is it very beautiful? I got instructed uh, when we received this, this duty that it's good to, uh, to send some aspirations with the sound in all the, all the directions. So I was thinking if how uh, this world would we, would be if uh, before the sun rises everywhere there would be gongs where people is sending 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 inspirations. It would be really another, and we are able to do that because we are doing it here. We can see that we can we are able, and it's not only we ourselves that we are doing that. We have been. Uh, as a human beings doing that through the different generations. And we will go, we have the aspiration to transmit this for the future. So it is possible, it is in our possibility to, to do that, to fill the world with this. So this morning I came and then I did the, full, the, the first one and it came just say, uh, saying, Ethical conduct, no, just ethical conduct for the whole universe, no? <laughs> everywhere. And then, <laughs> next one, concentration, <laughs> <laughs> everywhere, no, the south and north, the all the directions. And then the last one, no, understanding reality. Third one. It was a feeling very beautiful because this sound is not only out, going outside but also inside. So I made also for myself the aspiration of may I keep this uh, vibration during the day, no, to remember ethical conduct, non-distraction, and uh, understanding reality. So this gong, there is really something that I will keep with me this life. I don't know if it, it will last a lot, maybe not a lot, not too much, but it doesn't matter. This is very beautiful. And the thing that I want to share is um, we have now this neo shamana uh, who get the name Munlam. And this lamb is exactly the same that the lamb rim. So it's uh, exactly the path of aspirations. And I was really inspired when I, I heard her name. Because if we don't have aspirations, we cannot move. We, why should we do something if we don't aspire to, to, to go somewhere? So I was uh, really very inspired because of this. This, but um, having aspirations uh, is uh, something that is important to, to take care of them, no? Because if we just say one aspiration, I just keep saying this again and again and again, it becomes like at the beginning it was like the, this gong, but by the time if we don't take care of these aspirations, our as Words were over there, and our conduct is coming in this this another track. And we, if I got uh, used to this this uh, by this uh, separation, then the aspiration is uh, lose the uh, its power. But if I take care that uh, they try to to come in the same line then this aspiration is really bringing, uh, uh, keeping, uh, allows me to keep moving in the direction that I want to go. So I think this uh, program has been day by day, session by session, everything that we 
do here, even sleeping, even, and there is nothing he, here that is not, I feel like that, that is not completely imbued or uh, full of uh, these aspirations to really make our potential come up and, and manifest in the same extent that we can, our mind can, can have the ability, the, the nature of the vision, the, the, the sea very far, far away. But also we can put our conduct in this same uh, way and trying to bring together is, uh, we have uh, in, from the first session until the last one, we are reciting and bringing back our aspirations again and again and again. But the, the thing that for me makes this very powerful is that it's some limitless methods at, uh, that allows us to, to uh, actualize these aspirations in our being. It's not lost it's only to have very uh, uh, nice things to envision, but also very skillful methods to become this aspiration something real in our own being, in our own world. And this place is exactly the context that makes uh, that our aspirations, our vision, and our conduct are one. So thank you so much for creating this place and for let us be part of it. <laughs>